Greetings, I'm Chappers at Anderton's, and I'm with Alex, the amazing Hutchings. Hello. And um, we're going to take a look at this awesome looking Roland Grr GR55, which is, above all things, a guitar synthesizer. Now, I'm a wingman down today because Captain Lee can't be with us. <laughs> But it doesn't matter, we can manage. And um, with the merits of an amazing guitar player and an awesome sound man here, Stick from Maplewood Studios, we're gonna give you possibly the best GR55 demo on YouTube. Let's start by telling the people what it is. What is it? Okay, right, well, uh, it's um, an all-in-one um, guitar effects processor, guitar synth. Uh, you can use your normal pickup as well. Um, you got like 900 keyboard-esque sounds, saxophones, trumpets, trombones, strings. Um, you can model guitars, acoustic guitars, strats, uh, Les Pauls, all that kind of stuff. You can model amps. You've got about 20 billion effects inside. 20 billion yeah, effects? Yeah, that's a real number. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and you combine all those things to get, uh, you know, really unique sound really to, yeah. to suit you. It's quite mind-blowing actually what you can do with a toy like this. And he just plugged in a minute ago and sort of said, Chappers, you're going to like this. And he'd found, he programmed something in advance that would get my simian juices flowing. And they flow effed. Yeah. Because it was uh, super, super crunchy. Yeah. And um, quite exciting. Are you going to do it for us now? Let me see if I can find. What was that. it called? It was called Owl's Down Tune. Owl's <laughs> Down Tune. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is like a drop tuning. You can get loads of tunings out of it. Um, here's like uh, drop A flat. <laughs> Amazing. That's quite nice. That sounds really good. Uh, you can get loads of uh, different uh, tunings actually. Uh, let me just show you that. For example, here's a drop A, and you can um, add like uh, some flange with the with the control pedal. You can assign it to do anything. So it's here's always a good thing. Absolutely. To add flange. That's super, super bad horsey Vi type stuff, isn't it? Man? Absolutely. Now, yeah. just to show you, actually, you can down tune uh, and make your own user uh, patches. Uh, for example, this is down uh, five semitones with the last one down seven, but I can make it anything we want, like this. So that <laughs> now is lower than a bass, actually. But Who needs a bass player yeah. when you've got a Gurr 55? So for example, uh, this is now down to a low F sharp, uh, like an eight string. Or you can go. As well, so that you can do like Mario a, Brothers. That sounded a little bit like the bridge part from a Design the Skyline song. Something that's really cool about the tuning yeah. facility with this is, of course, the string tension stays the same. It doesn't change. That's right. And that's it, it, it feels really nice to not have to sort of change your string gauges and mm. all sorts of crazy rubbish and have the tunings change. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it appeals to whether you're like an acoustic player and you want to do loads of alternate tunings uh, or um, kind of, yeah, heavy down tuner. You can have everything programmed in. I mean, let me show a couple. Uh, for example, if you're a Keith Richards fan, you've got that sort of one. Uh, you can do the old. Um, and it's even blocked That's off, great. Blocked That's off great. the low string here, because yeah. it's the five string. Oh, strings, really? Yeah, yeah, so. I'm actually uh, got myself out of tune. So it's got onboard tuner as well. So at the moment, Alex is going into the GR55 and then straight into Stick's box of tricks. Mm -hmm. So there's not that box stick, a different box. So we haven't got a guitar amplifier here at all. You're just hearing it through some monitors at the front. Uh, well, we're hearing it through the monitors. You're going to be hearing it directly from Stick's box of tricks, TM. So um, yeah, so here's a couple more. Uh, there's that one again in tune now. And I'll go from that straight to like a dad gad tuning. So using the foot pedal, you deactivated the strings that's that were right. behind you. So I can put them back on. Mm -hmm. 
So that's pretty cool. Yeah. That is um, so nice. Uh, a quick uh, drop tune to like uh, Two Fret Stang. Um, that drop A we had. And these guitar sounds, are they modelled on particular amp models? Are they Roland's own imaginative creations, or yeah, how does it work? I mean, you've basically got uh, all the popular brands kind of modelled, you know. Like tread plate. Uh, yeah, all that stuff, you and know. And Eevee. MS, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, Marks and Spencer's special in 1969. Um, so that all those sounds are in there, you know, um, and uh, you can run any kind of type of guitar through it, say like a... Um, at this point, I'm only using the uh, the GK pickup, which is on here. This is, by the way, the Godan Cool um, LGXT with it with the pickup fitted inside. So here's the cable right here, 13 pin, which is what enables us to tune uh, up and down yeah, in, yeah. in this like instant <clears throat> way, you know. And there's there's no such thing as lag when it comes to this kind of setup. It's just an immediate thing, isn't it? That's right. I mean, there's basically two ways of looking at uh, the GR. Um, there's the synth side of it, and then there's the modeling side. Now, mm. the synth side, there is uh, a certain amount of latency. Uh, it's very small, and it's been improved. Um, that's for your things like uh, maybe piano, saxophone, and stuff. Mm. Um, but uh, if you're using it for strings and things, you don't notice it at all because mm. it's uh, a nice It's in microseconds, isn't it? Yeah, it's in microseconds, so yeah. it's, you know, 0.6 of a second or something crazy like that, which uh, I'll show you some of that in a second, actually. Um, but then the modeling side is zero. There's yeah. zero latency at all. So yeah. um, Why don't you prove that by doing some insane Alex Hutching sweeping sh <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see what uh, cool I always wanted to ask him to do that. <laughs> so here's the, the no latency crazy shred. <laughs> um, I didn't go. detect any latency there at all. Yeah, here's my kind of version of a maybe Pat Metheny esque synthy sound. So, you know... Alex, can you play A minor pentatonic, though? Uh... I thought a chink in the armour there, so Sorry. I knew it, I knew it. Yeah. Knew it. Get him somewhere. <laughs> um, how, when you first received this, yeah. how long did it take you to get used to the amount of intellect contained within this blue box of win? Well, uh, I still am, but in a good way. Um, I think the great thing about it is that you can eke out new stuff all the time. You yeah. know, I've actually had a unit for the last, uh, well, since November, I had one of the prototypes sent to my house in Bristol, which was very cool, all the way from Japan. Uh, so I was very excited to, to, to get that at the beginning. And even now, I mean, some of these signs I just made in the last sort of uh, week or so. Yeah. Um, and I find that a really cool and exciting thing. It's not like oh, I discovered everything in one day. I, and I believe this will have uh, a great sort of shelf life, you know, mm. it will still be here 10 years, I think, from now, and maybe one of those things we look back on and go, um, actually, remember that? That was flipping cool. Evolution know? kind of situation. Yeah, I mean, it's totally unique, because I don't know anything at all like it mm. in existence, like mm. on the planet, really. Um, and so, as I say, I'm still discovering stuff about it now. Um, and I think it's a really inspiring, like, writing tool as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, for example, there was a sound, <clears throat> not solo trombone. Yeah, so one of the really uh, cool things is, you know, um, making sounds all the time in, in new sounds. And this is one that I found uh, the other day, just which is kind of an inspiring tool for writing. So this is a cool one. That's really cool. It reminds me so much of like Tron, the real Tron, not the new rubbish one, crossed with like Vangelis, China. Very really cool. like that. And that is one of the uh, non uh, latency sounds, yeah. you know, so that's what's great about it is that it feels as natural as anything. Now, you'll never get that effect from anything else. Yeah. No, no other pedal will allow that kind of thing because I'm using like some filtering on the, on the expression pedal. <laughs> It's just kind of spacey, you know? <laughs> and as I say, no latency. That 
that's incredible, man. Absolutely you know, incredible. Yeah, so it's just fun to, to play with in that way. <coughs> By the way, if you want to now rush and purchase one of these from Andertons.co.uk, you'll find it retails for 595 including the pickup uh, that you're using. Yeah. I'm going to show you another little thing I was playing around with. Um, it's got a looper on board. Uh, all you do to connect that is hit those two together and it, it kicks in to phrase loop mode. Um, and using some of these sounds that I was talking about, I was playing around with, um, I've got the synthy sound sliced up with this inbuilt slicer and then you're going to hear this cool filtered bass and then I'll just kind of play around after that. So let me show you a bit of that. Now I can loop that up. Dancing, please. You're quite good, aren't you, Alex? Really, quite I don't know. good. It's all the pedal. It's all the pedal. It's all the pedal. But anyway, <laughs> no. It's, uh, but you know, like, how kind of crazy is it to be able to get that sound yeah. out of a guitar? It is. So, you know, you can write dance tunes. You can write uh, for <coughs> anything. You know, TV, film. You know, you got strings and stuff on there. You've got acoustic guitars. Everything. So as as well as some of the sort of out there tones and sounds and samples. Yeah. Have you got some traditional rootsy bluesy rock stuff for yeah. me and my dad? Absolutely. Well, why don't I play a little example, which is going to hopefully appeal to uh, lots of different uh, people out there. Um, this example's got some sort of funk examples, um, like if you're in a function band, there's some stuff with acoustic guitar, strings, some different tunings. It's a little two minute uh, party piece, if you will. <laughs>
I feel like I feel like I should applaud now, but there's only, there's only like four of us here, so probably not appropriate. <laughs> No, that was amazing, you. man. Yeah. Absolutely amazing. Thank you. Well, there's a little cross section there. So you can see all the applications, the strings in the background, acoustic yeah. guitar, some tuning. What's your so, favourite thing about the GR55? Well, uh, kind of these new sounds that I say, the modelling side of it for me personally is really exciting because um, the zero latency part of it yeah. and to get those kind of sounds like we, did, we showed it earlier, like the Papmathene esque sort of sounds. And uh, I think it's the fact that. You know it, the sound creation. You know it, you at your fingertips. You can do pretty much anything you can imagine. Yeah. And and that's the exciting part. It's like endless. You know. So have you used this in the creation of your new album? Well, um, I'm definitely uh, considering it. Um, as I say, the last week I've just been creating some of these sounds, and I think it, I will definitely use it uh, for some for some stuff. I may even play it at uh, the Monkey Fest next week. Oh, the Monkey Fest next week. Where you're playing. Yeah. Fantastic news. But um, anyway, we shall see if it has an outing. <laughs> but um, yeah, I, th I think it's cool. You know, I mean, like the filtered bass sound is awesome. Um, you well, know. What are the main differences between the GR55 and its predecessor then? Well, the GR20 was uh, solely a synth um, and it only <coughs> had um, a kind of a, a relatively small number of inbuilt sounds. I mean, they were great, you know, and I actually was a. Um, avid user myself of the GR20. I bought one uh, years back, um, maybe seven years ago. Mm. Um, and that I used to MIDI up to um, my computer to control, um, you know, synths and stuff within mm. my computer, which of course you can do uh, with the GR55. Uh, the great thing about that is you can use MIDI now. And actually for the first time the other day, I, I plugged in uh, to Logic and I was quite surprised how much better the tracking was controlling external since yeah you know so that is something i'm going to use it for as well so alex tell me about the the gk pickup is yep. it easy to fit what does it do what does it look like okay right well it's basically like a thin magnetic strip um it houses these uh individual uh kind of mini humbuckers if you will for each string so it just simply sits underneath uh between the saddles and the pickup um you can either screw it into a guitar but not many people are a fan of doing that so it comes with and as cheap as it sounds it's very good sort of uh, double-sided sticky tape <laughs> but it's actually it works very well and yeah. of course therefore you don't damage your guitar in any way so that that will sit on there and i had mine on there for about two years and it didn't come off so that was that was cool uh, and then the actual unit just sits here and um it's you, if you unscrew the end pin here, mm. it will then lock on, and it's got a bit of felt and stuff, so it won't scratch or damage your guitar. So your godown has got it built into your guitar. That's right. So yeah. it's not really visible from this particular model here, but yeah. But you see, there's a few things that I should explain. This is uh, tone and volume for the normal guitar, but this is the synth volume ah. for uh, the GR or any other uh, synth like the GR20 and stuff. It works the same. Uh, this is um, a patch up and down. If you cunningly look at this, the other wow. camera, yeah, it, yeah. it goes up and down patches, you can select that to be bank yeah, yeah. as well. Um, and this is like guitar only, uh, synth only or mix, so you can okay. mix the signal. Wow. Um, and all those controls, these three controls are housed on the other on the pickup as well. So you, you could it. have a splitter pedal on stage live and mm -hmm. have one amp using the GR55 or one a PA system using the GR, and then yeah. one amp using a regular guitar you can switch between yeah. the two. That's right and in fact there's actually a guitar out on the unit itself oh, I see. so you can put that straight into an amp. Is there anything they haven't thought of Alex? Um, just to sort of take the, the Monet that is Alex is playing and put a bit of jam on it I'm gonna have a go <laughs> on, right. on a preset that he chooses that's kind of my sort of style but I just want to say um, Alex tunes his guitar differently to most mortals it's in fourths all the way down, so that, that it lacks that jump that you normally get on the sort of B to G string. Absolutely. So it's going to be a bit odd. Right, it's going to be ex experimental for me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
That's really odd. But you can see, you I see, can see the you, shape works. This yeah. is really odd. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So, um... Yeah. That's weird. Really weird. <laughs> but easier. It's, it is easier. I think if you spent a lot of time doing it, it would be easier. Wow. I'm impressed. Yeah. Very impressed. So the um, final thing on that sound, because I think this is pretty cool, is uh, the organ. I can put it through another amp and distort it. Just aside from the GR55, yeah. show me your pick. And tell me, this tell is the me. pick of doom. I've used these for the last 10 years. They are Jim Dunlop Tortex Sharp. You're the only player I've ever met in my life hmm. that uses the Sharps. And I've got nine and a half thousand of them sat at home. <laughs> Honestly. Really? really? Yeah. <laughs> so I've got a lifetime supply. And I added up, uh, actually, the fact that uh, they are, hmm, well, I use probably one or two bags a year, and there's 70 odd in each bag. So that's 130 years worth of plectrums. I actually play more. Yeah. Which probably isn't that possible, really, is it? Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I use. So you've just always used those? Yeah. You just find it easy for the economy picking and... Yeah, just with the fine point, um, of course, uh, you don't have to work so hard with, yeah. with, the, with the, like a, that yeah, uh, yeah. point. You have to work harder to actually get anything out of it, so... And have you got any sort of hints or tips for people that are trying to learn to play maybe 5% to your ability? <laughs> and, um, and they're interested in economy picking and sweeping and those kind of yeah. extreme technique. Uh, um, yeah, I think um, make sure you always enjoy what you do. You know, make sure uh, you don't think that practice like is a bad thing. Like, oh no, I have to practice because then you're, you're kind of sort of winning a losing battle you That's know exactly what i say it's yeah the first thing i say so i i say that um i'm kind of gonna go and play i don't think of it as practice i'm just gonna play you know and the way i actually practice is by playing and then if i mess up i stop and then go right why did i mess up and then just practice that little bit for a while. Yeah, you know, and that's that's how I, I've all seen it. And just instead of saying, oh, you've got to do a minimum of two hours a day or 10 hours a day, I just say, do it as much as you can. Yeah. Because everyone's life's different. Um, you know, I when I was at college, I used to sort of practice uh, on the bus to college sort yeah. of thing, you know, yeah. and get an extra half an hour in and do it just uh, as much as I could sort of thing. And uh, now, So you were obsessed, weren't you? I was definitely obsessed, yeah. yes. Um, and that was in standard tuning. And then only, yeah. only four years ago, I thought, ooh, Try Let's this. just change everything I've ever done and yeah. make a yeah, difference. Yeah. And mess it up. Yeah. <laughs> but it's been awesome having you here. Thanks thank you very much. Right. Really nice to meet you, mate. You too. And um, thank you for watching this incredible video about the GR55 from Roland. You guys take it easy. Chappers and Alex, out. Salute.